What up, y'all? Fats here with another banger. Today we got why the Toronto Raptors are my favorite basketball team of all time, bro, and why they, I root for them, why they're my guys for real. And, you know, if y'all been following the channel, y'all know that we react to every Raptors game. We've reacted to every single one since I've started this channel, and, you know, I have said a lot about them. But this is kind of just going to be a little short and sweet video on how I became a Raptors fan and why I love them, and just a little bit of, like, the good memories I've had with them, you know? We still rooting for them in 2020. Two right now, I do believe they're a top three team in the East, especially when Hofi Siakam has evolved into a top 15 player when he's at his best. Um, you know, we got Scotty Barnes, Van Vliet, OJ Anobi going for most improved. We're looking good this year. We really are. Um, you know, we had Kawhi, we had DeRozan, Larry. So let's get into it. So, you know, I'm from New York, like I've said many times. And growing up when I was little, little, like early 2010s, like to 12 right i'll be watching the knicks you know especially the knicks when they had Melo and jr smith and they were really good that one year um and i watched the knicks you know and it was cool like i like i liked the knicks you know and then it was around 2015 or 2016 right i was watching the playoff basketball and this is when i didn't really like I, I didn't really care that much about basketball like i didn't really care like that like i wasn't really watching the knicks like that it's just like that's who like you know i was from new york when i'd watch it i'll just watch the knicks right because i was little and didn't really know and, and care like that right but then I was really locked in on the NBA playoffs the one year when DeRozan and Larry, they were, I remember they versed the Heat and they beat the Heat. I remember Larry hit a, like a full court shot to tie it one game and they went into overtime. I think they beat the Heat in, um, I can't remember if it was the first or second round, but I don't, I think it was the year before they got to the uh, conference championship against the Cavs when they lost was the year I really started liking them. But nonetheless, bro. That's when I, like, was watching playoff basketball and was actually watching basketball. And I don't know why, like, just watching the Raptors. Like, when I was watching DeRozan and Larry, bro, especially DeRozan. DeRozan is an all-time favorite NBA player of mine. Shout out to DeRozan, one of the greatest Raptors ever ever to play for the Raptors. Um, That, like, that team, like, they, those Raptors really, like, made me fall in love with basketball. Like, that's where I was like, yo, I love basketball. Like, I was playing basketball every day. I was watching basketball every day. I was obsessed with the NBA, playing 2K, using... Uh, my GMs and shit. It was called the Association at the time, whatever, with the Raptors, bro. Like, I was just, uh, that, those were my guys. I remember we had Demar Carroll, Balanchunas, bro. Like, like we was just like, bro, that, like, those guys in the playoffs, the Raptors in the playoffs, and even, like, the fans. Like, the fans were so lit. We had Drake, too, and everyone, right? Um, It just made basketball, it made me love basketball. That's the thing that made me love basketball. So, you know, we did get LeBron throwed a lot, and then LeBron finally left, and then, you know, out of nowhere, you know, that's what made me love basketball, so that was my favorite team, and I'll be following them every year, right? We got Kawhi, Kawhi for DeRozan, and it's like, damn, like, oh, DeRozan, like, out of all, like, it's crazy, you wouldn't even expect that, like, DeRozan was, like, the loyalty, like, he's just, the like, guy's just, like, I love him, obviously Kawhi's the better player, right, but it's just, like, it was crazy, and then we go on to win the championship that year after being LeBron for so many years, like, I was not expecting it, you know how hype I was that year when the Raptors won the chip with Kawhi, bro, and Larry was balling, then, we, then you got more players, like, Siakam coming on the scene, Van Vliet, like, 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 the Raptors are just a solid team, they owned the east really for like the last like they've been a top three team in the east for the last five to ten years like overall overall for the five to the last about ten years you can say the Cavs, i guess maybe like the raptors and i guess the heat you know like something like that like bro and then even then they beat the bucks in the to get to the finals you know they were down 2-0 bro quad was going crazy the sixers the quad game winner bro like when we won the trip that year i was so fucking hyped and i can't believe Kawhi didn't resign like that was crazy like that was crazy he didn't resign and then the bubble bro we lost to boston in game seven i thought we was going right back to the chip bro actually been bleak I think this week on a podcast said if they had Kawhi, they'd be three peats right now. And he might not be lying because that bubble, bro, we was going crazy. I really, and then unfortunately we lost to the Celtics. But at least I can say now we lost to a legit team that was young and still growing. Because you see what Tatum's doing now. The Celtics and the Bucks, I feel like, are the only teams we can't beat. I think we can beat any other team in the East. Um, I don't know about those two teams. They'll just be too tough, bro. But you never know. I mean, the Raptors can match up for sure. So it's not, it's not out of the question. Um... But even now, we have a great team, but it's just like when we won that chip, dog, and like Kawhi being the fun guy and stuff, like Siakam played great, Van Lee, and it's just like we beat the Warriors, too. That was the whole KD year, too, when he got hurt. Like, that shit was crazy, bro. I mean, thank God he got hurt, because I probably wouldn't have beat him if um, KD was healthy, but 
And that's kind of like my story on the Raptors. We can go to the bubble, and then that, the year after the bubble, they were a little off. That was like their off year. And then last year, they were back. They were good. And then this year, we can talk about this year a little bit, bro. Like, I think we have a great team this year. Like, our team this year is looking really good. We're beating good teams. We're losing some, to some good teams, too. We got to get it together. Nick Nurse is a great coach. Nick Nurse has been a top three coach ever since he got to the NBA. Like, that man is a great coach. Siakam, bro. You fell down a little bit after, like, the bubble season. And then now you're just, you put in the work, you're really back up there. You're playing amazing basketball, bro. You know, we got Van Vliet, the shooter, the underrated defender. And Anobi, going for most improved. Scotty, bro. Like, Boucher, Gary Trent, bro. Like, I really like our team this year, bro. I think we can be top three in the East for sure. And um, that's really how I fell in love with the Raptors, bro. And then have them become my favorite NBA team, for real. I mean, it was just lit. And it, it, it's all to those DeRozan and Lowry days, like, when they were getting... Like, I remember when, when Larry hit the full court shot against the Heat, I was going crazy, and then, like, against the Cavs, always, like, I remember the, we, we brought them to, uh, to six that one year in the conference champion, in the, yeah, conference championship, whatever, however you say, uh, and, yeah, what Eastern Conference Finals, and it just, like, we was that close. I remember DeRozan was dunking all over the place, like, DeRozan would always, like, oh my gosh, it was just a lit-ass team, bro. Really made me fall in love with basketball. Shout out to Raptors. It's always going to be, Raptors always be my number one team, you know. I like Ra the Raptors are my number one team that I always root for them first, and then it's players, and then, you know, like some teams like the Knicks. Like, like I love Giannis, Curry, Ja. Like, those are my probably top three favorite players right now. Probably, and a couple more, you know. I do love Kawhi, too. Like, I always love Kawhi, but I don't know what he's doing right now with the Clippers. It, it's, it's crazy that Kawhi choked that shit in the bubble, bro. If he won that shit, he would be top 15 all time right now. Should have stayed with the Raptors, bro. You really should have stayed with the Raptors, bro. We, yeah, yeah, we had Ibaka, too. Most the the Kawhi Ibaka was playing out of his mind, nice. Like, shit, bro. Hey, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the Raptors, bro. Make sure to subscribe for every Raptors reaction. Raptors fans, stand up, bro. We're doing it right here. Let's get it. We're going to have a great season, bro. We're going to go... To at least the second round, hopefully further, bro. We gotta go further. We we, we could. It depends who we match up with, but Celtics and, and Bucks are tough outs. But the Raptors, bro, love y'all forever. Thank y'all for making me love basketball. I do appreciate your support, bro. Make sure to subscribe. Peace.